a mist come in my room. It was a pretty thick mist. And as I was laying there, I was just looking at it. I knew it was of God, but I didn't know exactly what it was going to do. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I saw a hand come out of that mist, and I felt it go in the side of my stomach. And I felt God's hand go underneath that tumor, underneath that growth. And I felt that tumor setting in his palm of his hand. And I felt him as he went just like that, and that tumor dissolved. Hallelujah. Then he withdrew his hand and he moved on out. I'm telling you about a God. I tell you, it's not somebody I do not know. I'm telling you about somebody I do know. Hallelujah. Many of us are. God has made his testimonies. Woo, isn't that wonderful? We overcome by what? The word of our testimonies. The word of our testimony. We can come to your music now. Hallelujah. Tell you what God is doing. He is wonderful. My, 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 I'm telling you, he is drawn by his spirit, brother. Oh, yes, he is. He's going to do a word like we ain't never seen. Woo, hallelujah. This letter rain. It's coming. I can see it. I can see abundance of rain. Woo, hallelujah. Abundance of rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to reach out to the Lord for a few minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they start singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you, Jesus. Lord, I praise you. Raise your hands. Let's talk to him for a few minutes.
father. He said, but the gifts and calling are without repentance. And he said, my daughter, you're going to have to fulfill it. The gifts and callings in your life, honey, you've got to fulfill them. You've got to let God help you, help you to get back. Hallelujah. You had a walk with God at one time. God is going to help you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to pray with you tonight. And something is going to start in you tonight. Hallelujah. You're going to feel it. It's going to go home with you. When you go to sleep, it's still going to be with you. When you get up, it's still going to be with you, honey. Hallelujah. Because God has said, you got to come on home. you got to come back. Hallelujah. Because there's a call in your life he's going to fulfill. Hallelujah. I want the elders of the church to come here. I want y'all to stand and pray with me. Hallelujah. We love you. We're not here to judge you. We love you. Hallelujah. All you've got to know is that we're here to help you each way we can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord, let me know that he had started something in him, but she did not have complete deliverance. And I think why she worked so heavy on my heart. I said, God, and she was bored with suicide demons that would come against her. I said, God, don't let her leave us earth unsaved. I said, God, whatever it takes, put someone with her in her life that will help her get through this and get completely back to you and get completely delivered. Hallelujah. Lord, bring her my way. Hallelujah. It was about four or five weeks later she contacted me. And now I'm able to counsel with her and pray with her all the time. And God is doing something in her life. God is doing something in her life. She said, Sister Brenda, she said, my goodness, I haven't felt like this in a long, long, long time. people that's struggling, they're hurting, they're suffering, and they're begging for help. Lord, help me. Lord, help me send somebody my way. Children of God, I'm ready for true deliverance. Amen. True deliverance. Hallelujah. Lord, I said, Lord, I want true deliverance. I don't want nothing at all. Yeah. Lord, I want realness. I don't want nothing at all. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We've got such a precious spirit here tonight. God is so good to us. Hallelujah. Brother, the Lord is fixing the room for you. Hallelujah. There's a financial need that you have. God is fixing the room for you in that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't speak that very often, but when God tells me to, I do. Hallelujah, sister called me. Business to head out to Haiti. And she called me every so often. And she says, Sister Brent, I need you to pray with me. And while we was in prayer, the Lord was to me and speaks and put a thousand dollars in her hand. I said, In a few days, the Lord's going to put a thousand dollars in your hand. Be sure to call me when it happens. She called me about three days later. I knew what she was going to tell me. She says, Sister Brent, I was closing out of service. And she said, A man walked up to me and counted out. Ten one hundred dollar bills, lying in my hand to go to Haiti to help me to go to Haiti. I said, I knew God was bringing it to you. Hallelujah! Brother Randy was preaching at our service there at the church, and after the, he gave it back to me, I said, Brother, you got a financial need to God is fixing the move for you. I said, It's going to be quickly. Hallelujah! That's all I told him. He received it. But on the way home, the Lord said, you call him and tell him that I'm going to move for him in a few days. And I said, well, Lord, I told him that you six and move. He said, you do what I say. So I called him. I said, Brother Randy, I said, God is going to move for you quickly in this. He wanted me to call you and tell you special. He was preaching at another service and coming back and preaching for me that night. And while he was there, Hallelujah. And I felt like God was going to put, I told him, I said, God's going to put a thousand dollars in your hand. And he come back that Sunday night and he was preaching. He said, Sister Brenda, he said, God has moved. He said, I got an $1,100 offering. He said, God gave me a hundred dollars extra on purpose, but God gave me that thousand dollars. Hallelujah. And I'm not one that goes around and prophesies. <laughs> Hallelujah. When he tells me, I do. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I'm not into all that stuff. You know, you give ten thousand, God give you fifty thousand. Uh uh. You give out of your heart and live or death. Give and expect nothing in return, and God will give you blessing. Right. Hallelujah. But you don't give to get. If you give to get, you ain't gonna get. Right. And if you go around claiming everything that ain't yours, come on. Thank God. You know, people say, well, I drove by this house every day. It wasn't even up for sale or nothing else. God, that's my house. You're going to give me that house over there. No, it wasn't your house. It's their house. That's right. That's covenant. Amen. Now, if it was for sale, if it was for sale, nobody lived there or even ever lived in it. You said, God, put the money in my hands to buy that house, and that's different. Right. But going by claiming stuff that ain't yours, that ain't God. That's right. You know, people got to learn the word. 
They got to know what's real. Right. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, we walk against God and we don't even know it sometimes. But if God's good, He's wonderful. Tell everybody about the revival. Because I believe God is going to move in a great and dramatic way. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to going to Africa in October. And hopefully back to Jamaica by the first of the next year. I tell you what, God's going to give us one more revival in Africa. Amen. Sister Vivian spoke something today. Well, he's talking to me on the phone. Pastor Paul wrote me from Africa. He said, Sister Brenda, he said, I feel the Holy Ghost, and as soon as y'all speak, hit Africa. God's going to start moving. Yes. And if she didn't speak that, I said, my goodness, that's a confirmation. I said, yes, it is. I wrote it back. I said, yep, that's God. God's going to be moving as soon as we touch over there. As soon as we hit Nairobi, we ain't even going to be in Montgomery yet. Hallelujah. God's already going to start moving. Hallelujah. We begin to kiss him. If I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not for sure. But it's K-I-S-U-M-U. I just pronounce it like a spell. <laughs> so they told me I was pronouncing it wrong. But I don't remember what they said. So it's kissing me to me. <laughs> That's where we're going to have to get to the last airport. And then we got an hour and 45 minute ride over Pothole Roads to get where we're going. <laughs> but I tell you what, they're excited about us coming. Hallelujah. And we're going to try to do some special things for them. But they're so hungry for us to get there. They said, Sister Brenda, just worry about the plane tickets and whatever else you need. Don't you worry about us. We just want the gospel. Hallelujah. I tell you why God's got a people that is hungry. Yes, right. They want the gospel. Yes, right. Oh, then God's going to make a wedding place to do for them a little here and there. Hallelujah. I told him, I said, Brother. I said, God can take you in and do much with it. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I see what I serve a God that can do anything. That's right. That's right. I serve a supernatural God. That's right. He spoke the word and there it is. Right. He spoke the word and there it is. I tell you what, how many appreciate God tonight? Amen.
blessed to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. Thank you, Jesus.